Yeah, I was born in Buffalo, New York, and uh, um, my uh, father's uh, father had run a department store in Buffalo, New York, and my father succeeded him in running that. My father's father was a brother of J.L. Hudson, uh, who started the J.L. Hudson Company in Detroit, and he had sent his brother to Buffalo to run a store that he had bought in Buffalo. So anyhow, my father decided to stay in Buffalo, and we were born and raised in, in Buffalo. My father was very involved in the civic life of uh, Buffalo, <clears throat> but we uh, were not involved in the philanthropy at that time, um, but uh, my father was very civically oriented. Um, came to Detroit uh, in 1956 to uh, work as a trainee for the J.L. Hudson Company. And um, when I got to Detroit and got to know the Weber family and I learned how involved they were in the civic life of the community, and they had established uh, uh, three foundations which ultimately became the Hudson Weber Foundation. And, um, and I learned uh, at that time the J.L. Hudson Company, the founder of the company, had been probably the most philanthropic person in the city of Detroit uh, at the time um, when he was uh, successfully developing the, the J.L. Hudson Company. And uh, he had uh, started all sorts of uh, uh, initiatives uh, in Detroit and was involved in almost every civic uh, and community activity. And uh, he was all, a very generous man personally and gave uh, uh, a great deal to, to many causes. He, he made all of the money uh, in his lifetime. He had grown up in Ionia, Michigan, and his father had, had a small department store in Ionia, Michigan. And he left to come to Detroit and uh, had worked for a, a company by the name of Mabley Company and uh, become uh, very uh, successful in managing that company and then decided to go out on his own. And so he was really a self-made man and, and he made um, whatever uh, money he had, uh, all, you know, th through his own uh, resources. Uh, and he, uh, he was very th um, philanthropically inclined and he um, imbued in his nephews, the Weber brothers, who succeeded him in the management of the company, this philanthropic and civic uh, spirit. And, and so it was catching when I started to work for the, um, the, the company. This was part of the family history, and, and, uh, and I felt it was very important and very commendable, and so I became uh, interested in philanthropy myself through that family experience. Well, the uh, organization that I worked with uh, for the longest and um, was probably most passionate about was Children's Hospital of Michigan. And I served on their board for well over, well, I'm still on a part of their board. It's, the hospital has now become a part of a private uh, uh, for-profit corporation, but uh, they still have a adjunct board that I'm on. And at any rate, that was my major interest, and I uh, served in many different roles on, on that board for many different years. Um, I was also uh, involved in a number of other civic activities that really uh, came through the foundation as opposed to initiatives that I might have um, otherwise selected on my own uh, active. And I brought along a, a, a little uh, bio that uh, lists what some of those organizations. In the early days, I, I didn't um, really um, know how to go about doing that. And then you developed a learning to give uh, program, which really set the, um, uh, the model for uh, the state and for the country, actually, I think, and, um, and how to do that. And um, so uh, I have made some efforts in that connection, but I can't say that I've been uh, as organized about it as, as I might have, have been. But uh, I'm very fortunate that uh, I have my daughter Jennifer here with me today, and uh, she uh, followed in the, uh, the footsteps of civic involvement. 
and uh, was involved in uh, projects in the city of Detroit, um, which have helped with the revitalization of the city of Detroit. And then she was invited to join the board of the Hudson Weber Foundation and succeeded me as chair of the um, Hudson Weber Foundation, which uh, she's been now for probably seven or eight years. <laughs>